This is amazing. Now we're going to see about Google Mesop. Using this tool, you are able to create a user interface with just few lines of code. Where you can create a user interface like this, it's like a chatbot. You can ask questions. Give me a daily meal plan for me. It's asking a few more questions. Do you have any allergies, approximate daily calorie intake, etc. I'm going to respond. Everything up to you. And based on that, it's giving me response for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The daily meal plan. In this, I've integrated that with Gemini. You can similarly integrate that with Grok, Olama, Langchain and Llama Index. So what is Google Mesop? It's same like Gradio or Streamlit user interface. You are able to convert from a code to user interface with just few lines. So using Mesop, you can skip the front end learning curve. You have ready to use components such as chat. You have hot reload. So the browser automatically responds and preserves state. Also, you can build custom UIs without writing JavaScript, CSS or HTML. There are multiple use cases here, such as creating a chatbot, text to image, text to text, LLM rewriter, a playground, which looks like this, where you have option to change here, the temperature output token. Based on that, you can write a prompt and then submit, you'll get the response at the bottom. So similarly, you can create this user interface just by simple bits of code. The main thing is that you have components. So even in Gradio and Streamlit, you have component to create text box or buttons. Similarly, you have multiple components here, such as box, side nav, media, image, audio, video, button, checkbox, and much more. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Google Mesop. This tool is used by Google for rapid internal app development. So now they have released that to the public for free. I'm going to take you through step by step on how you can integrate that with Grok, Olama, Langchain, Llama Index, and finally create a user interface like this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, we are going to use Gemini model. To do that, export Gemini API key like this and then click enter. Pip install Mesop is the main package. After that, we are installing Google Generative AI. That package is used to integrate Gemini. So all of these other package, we are going to use that for integrating respective models or packages. So after this, create a file called app.py and let's open it. So inside the file, first import google.generativeai as genai. Then after that, importing mesop, mesop labs as ml and importing os. Now we are going to configure gen ai with the Google API key that is Gemini API key. Next, we are going to define the page at me.page. Here we are mentioning the security policy that is Google's URL. So you can allow any URL to be used as iframes, but this is optional. Now we are mentioning the path. So for example, if you want to go to your homepage, for example, localhost, do you want to see this app? So that's where the path comes. So if you want example.com slash chat, then you can modify this to slash chat. In this case, I'm going to show you as slash giving a title for the page mesop demo chat then after this we are going to create the page so define page and then providing mel dot chat so mel is nothing but mesop labs and just by mentioning dot chat you are able to create the chat interface so after creating the chat interface we need to tell what it is going to do to do that we are going to create a function called transform so which we will do that later now we are providing the name for the chatbot, Gemini Mesop chatbot and bot user is Mesop bot. Now after this, we are providing configuration for the large language model, Gemini, with temperature top P, top K, and you can modify this based on your requirement. Next, we are defining the model, model equals Gen AI, generator model. We are providing the model name that is Gemini 1.5 flash with the generation config. That's the one which we have created earlier and a system instruction. And the final step is to tell the logic that is the transform function define the transform function and here i'm mentioning the input and the history input is the question which we are going to ask and we are merging that with the history in this way the large language model will know the context so here we are merging everything together and sending that full input to model.generate content and finally we are printing out the response like this so this transform function we are passing that to the mel.chat here that's it so literally you define the endpoint, you created the page, then you define the logic in the transform function. That's it, three simple steps. 
these are just model configuration now we have successfully created the chatbot now i'm going to run this in your terminal mesop app.py and then click enter and you can see the url here i'm going to open it and here is a gemini mesop chatbot now i'm going to ask a question give me a daily meal plan of your choice and then click enter and here is the response balanced and delicious daily meal plan with breakfast lunch dinner dessert important notes this is amazing now next we are going to see how you can integrate that with grok so here is the code i modify this slightly we are importing grok calling the client equals grok.grok .grok. then the area we are modifying is the transform function that is the place which we are going to modify for all the integration so here we are calling the large language by using chat completions create function and we are providing all the information here the configuration the message and the history got merged together here and we are streaming the response in this that's it so this is the whole transform function main area where we are modifying the code all other things remains the same now i'm going to run this export your grok api key like this and then click enter now you're triggering the file and opening it here is the interface give me a daily meal plan of your choice and here is a response it's super fast with grok next we are going to see how you can integrate that with olama make sure you've downloaded olama from olama.com next in your terminal olama pull llama 3 to download the llama 3 model same as before i modified the code slightly i'm importing olama and the main change happened in the transform function so here i'm calling olama.chat and providing a llama 3 model the messages is the merge of the history and the current question so that it knows the context and finally we are responding that is returning back the response so in total just this three bits of code and we are ready to run this application in your terminal mesop and the file where you stored the code and now i'm going to open this and here's the user interface give me a daily meal plan of your choice and it's responding from olama which is running locally on my computer next we are going to see how you can integrate that with the lang chain just to note that initially we installed all these packages which i will put all the information in the description below but whenever you want to use olama in specific just install olama alone if you want grok just install grok alone if you're going to install llama index use this llama index packages and if you're going to use lang chain use this package alone using that you should be able to choose your specific package or model of your choice so in our case currently we are going to use lang chain so this is the main package for this purpose and i've modified the code where i'm importing olama from lang chain here also i'm using olama but via lang chain so this is an example so you can import any large language model provided by lang chain community you have tons of large language model so import as required and call the model here llm equals olama and the model name llama3 and same as before the only area which needs change is the transform function where you are merging your message and the history and calling llm.stream to initiate the chat or call the large language model and returning the response that's it again just three bits of code and it's all done now i'm going to run this mesop langchain going to open this url and here's the interface and same question as before and it's automatically generating me the response using olama now final step how you can integrate this with llama index now we are going to use cloud opus so export your anthropic api key like this and then click enter in llama index case just install llama index and llama index lms anthropic as the main package using pip install so i'm just importing llama index lms anthropic as anthropic here also you can use any large language model which you can find in llama index lms and here i'm importing chat message lm equals anthropic and providing the model name that is cloud3 haiku and same as before the only area of change is transform and here i'm using chat message merging the message and the history together using lm.streamchat to trigger the large language model and returning the response so this is the overall code now i'm going to run this mesop llama index.py and opening this url and this is also generating its response i'm really excited about this i'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching